Nanny Tiggy reveals that she sent Harry proof exposing Meg's dirty past before the wedding, but it was deleted by the Duchess. Prince Harry has isolated himself by ditching his British friends and trusted advisors after moving to the United States and is living in a bubble. Speaking on this week's Palace Confidential, the Daily Mail's diary editor Richard Eden and Daily Mail columnist Sarah Vine and Daily Mail royal editor Rebecca English discussed the Duke of Sussex's fallout with his beloved childhood nanny Tiggy. I hear that he doesn't talk to any of his old friends, he doesn't listen to any of his old advisors. People like Tiggy Leg like Burke, who used to be quite key to helping him, they're just not there anymore, she explained. Miss Leg like Burke was Prince William and Prince Harry's nanny before becoming a personal assistant to then Prince Charles. She's believed to stay close to the royals well into their adulthood. However, Harry betrayed his second mother because of Meghan's incitation. Prince Harry has reportedly taken Meghan Markle to meet his former childhood nanny Tiggy Leg like Burke. According to The Sun, Harry couldn't wait to introduce his bride-to-be to the lady who helped care for him following the death of his mother, Princess Diana. Harry couldn't wait to introduce Meghan to Tiggy, a source revealed. Although the two women are very different, they got on famously. The insider added, She's a very significant person in Harry's life, almost like a mother figure, as she looked after Harry when Princess Diana died. It's believed that Harry and Meghan met Tiggy after the couple's visit to Cardiff in January 2018, four months before their wedding. But in April, Tiggy sent Harry a text and said that Meghan Markle had an impure past and that MI5 was investigating her. But then Tiggy got no response from Harry, leaving her wondering if Meghan deleted the message and Harry didn't read it. Since then, they've lost contact with each other. Tiggy's the one who genuinely told Harry the truth if he made the wrong decision. The words Meghan and great should never be in the same sentence. The something really great that she did was lay down and allow Harry to mount her like a stallion referencing Spare here. Meghan was and will always be nothing more than a failed social media influencer who was able to land a dumb prince who was desperate to marry anyone just so that he could get pretty royal stationery like his brother. He was too lazy and jealous of William in every way from being the heir, looking like Diana, and finding Catherine plus the family that he has. No one stopped him from reading a book, studying for school, nor did anyone stop him from learning his job in the army to advance in rank. He lived and visited the royal residences filled with the largest art collection in the world. He probably couldn't tell anyone one thing about it besides it's a bunch of old paintings and statues everywhere. He admits that he knows very little about his ancestors, claiming someone that wasn't. Each sovereign is the caretaker of the collection to maintain and grow. It was smart of Catherine to take art history at university. Markle was out of a league, though I've never heard her mention once the privilege of having access to it or anything she found interesting. Her focus was getting famous and expensive clothing. Her style is what the magazines are saying is in, which is why she decorates copying everyone else. The decorated Frogmore Cottage, like a beloved Soho farmhouse, funny as a mixed colour person she wears and decorates in white and black, both are absence of colour. The Harkles are both the absence of anything but greed and control.